Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out the other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with so you might have to swap the roles and if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, you can keep it in your back pocket or come back at a later time. We're going to take a look into what messages need to come through for you guys for this upcoming week. See what you guys could be currently dealing with or what you expect. Get some insight wisdom guidance and overall see what's going on i hope you guys are doing well if you guys are interested you can go follow me over on my instagram at Aidstone tarot and with that being said let's jump right into this reading for some animal oracle messages to start off for libra summarizing venus what messages do we have for libra for this upcoming week weekly messages for libra summarizing venus any messages for libra Summonizing Venus for this upcoming week. What's going on with Libra? What does Libra need to know? Be mindful of. Insight with the guidance, please. Show me clearly. One more. Let's get into it. Messages for Libra. Summonizing Venus for this upcoming week. We have the rabbit. Ooh, there's a little bit of anxiety. We'll see why. Messages for Libra, summarizing Venus, the spider. <sighs> there are some anxieties, there are some stresses, there are some fears about the future. The rabbit is about you guys overthinking or being in your head. So for whoever I'm picking up on, it's like this week or this upcoming week, you guys might be finding yourself a lot more anxious. Maybe you don't even know why you're anxious. You're just feeling like your heart's racing a little bit. Your palms are kind of sweaty, you're a little bit anxious for something, maybe there's something coming up and you got like that butterfly feeling in your stomach and something has you nervous, something has you a little bit on the edge of your seat. Now there might just be some fears about the future, wondering where am I going, some of you are you know, working on some sort of project or endeavor, you've been on some sort of journey, some sort of path for quite some time. But it's as if you guys might be getting a little bit impatient with the process, and I swear. The amount of times I've been saying this in um, the past few readings I've been doing is like, trust the process, trust the process. I know no one wants to hear that, but if you don't trust, then you're doubting the whole journey, the whole shebang, you know? And so if you don't trust the journey, you don't trust where you are, well then you are not believing in yourself. And so if you don't believe in yourself, well then you're setting yourself up for failure, you know? So when you fall into these old ways of thinking or these patterns where you get in your head and you start thinking worst case scenario and like, what if this doesn't work out? What if I'm wasting my time? Am I on the right path? Like, oh boy, you need to just sit down and ground yourself. Honestly, you guys are needing to get into the present moment. You guys are either way too focused on the past or you're way too focused about the future. And right now, you got to get in tune with this moment here right now. Take some deep breaths. You guys are needing to carve time out for yourself this week to just be in the present. Get involved into some sort of activity that puts you in the now. Whatever that is for you, it's going to be different for everyone. Whether that's going for a little nature walk, whether that is drawing, whether that's journaling, meditating, working out, like just do something this week and make it consistent. Do it like every day, even if it's like 10, 15 minutes and just carve the time out to be in the present moment. Because when you think about it, the future hasn't happened yet. We only have the present moment. The past is just a memory and the future is our imagination. So if you're anxious about the future, what are you doing right here, right now to change your future and have the future that you want? It's like, what actions are you taking? What are you putting your energy towards? So you're afraid about something or you're fearful of something not working out. So what are you doing to prevent that? Or what are you doing to get towards your goals, your dreams, the destination that you're wanting so badly? but fearful of not getting. If you're fearful of not getting whatever this is, <laughs> then you're gonna have to work for it and come up with some sort of plan so that you will get to that goal or that destination, right? You have to put in that work and you have to be consistent with it. And it's not gonna happen overnight. Whatever it is that you're trying to get off the ground, it's gonna take time and you're needing to be patient with that. You're needing to trust that if it's truly meant for you, it will never pass you by. Yeah, it might take time. Yeah, it might not be instant results, 
and that might be a bit discouraging for some of you, but are you going to let that stop you? Because if you do let that stop you, then clearly it's just not meant for you in the first place. Don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes or if it you fall, you get back up, right? You learn from it, you grow from it. Simple as that. Everything's connected. Every little thing that you've gone through and that has led you up to this very point is leading you towards lots of new things, lots of great things in the future, like the spider web, right? Every little step counts. Don't doubt it. Don't even second guess it. Because there are some second guessing, there are some doubts, some fears that you're experiencing. But you're needing to be more confident. And obviously you don't just wave a magic wand and suddenly you're confident and you don't have any fears or doubts. And even the most confident people have moments still where they doubt themselves and maybe they're not feeling as strong or empowered. And that's okay and that's human. We all go through these times, we all go through these emotions and these moments and to just have more faith, have more trust, believe that you're guided, you are, and for those who are feeling a little bit bored, things haven't been fun or like it's just the same shit, different day, switch it up a little bit. It's time to expand, it's time to build and learn and grow and study and research. Like if you're feeling like something's lacking in your life, it's time to make a change, but it all comes down to you. Are you going to make that change? No one's going to force you to. So if you're unhappy with where you are, you're the only person who can change that is you. Because it's your life. No one can force you to change unless you want to make that change. So, you're saying if you're feeling a little bit bored, maybe you're getting in your head, it's time to switch it up, it's time to expand, it's time to do things differently. Interesting energy. So yeah, we got lots of earth coming through with the spider and the rabbit. Definitely needing to ground yourself. All right, it's it's important for you guys to get grounded, get centered. You, I swear, I've said this so many times for you guys in like the last few months. Is like your head's up in the clouds, and you're needing to calm down. You're needing to find that middle ground. <laughs> okay, so let's pull some tarot messages. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this week. But yeah, there's some anxiety, there's some stresses, but it's gonna work out. Have trust in that. You will. It will. Any messages for Libra, Summonizing Venus for this weekly reading? Any messages for Libra, Summonizing Venus for this upcoming week? What messages do we have for Libra? Any messages for Libra, Summonizing Venus for this week? Messages for Libra. Woo! A wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. So there's change. There is movement in the right direction. There's lots to celebrate. There's lots of good times coming up. Let's see what else needs to come out. Some of you are reuniting. Um, okay. We'll take it. We have the Hierophant in the reverse with Judgment. Okay, um... Some of you are reuniting with something that maybe you took a break from or... If this is a relationship, as we still are in Mercury Retrograde Energy, we still have the post-shadow effect after it goes direct on the 20th. So, you know, there's still lingering of that retrograde energy. So it's still going to have a little bit of the past resurfacing still. Not as strongly, but anyways, I am getting for some of you, there could be some sort of reunion or coming together after a break, after a period of separation or breaking away from something it's like there's like some sort of final call or something's being revived back from the dead <laughs> but i don't think this is a bad thing oh maybe you guys are just feeling really anxious anxious about it like caught you off guard or i don't know bottom of the deck we have the alchemist six of swords in reverse and the prince of pentacles yeah so there is this energy of something being revived or something from the past or something you took a break from or walked away from temporarily i don't think this is like a permanent thing where you ended things i think it was just like i need space i need time away to figure out my shit to get my shit together and now it's like something new is being started here there's a new chapter we have quite a bit of major arcana we have the wheel the hierophant judgment and the alchemist uh we do have taurus energy as well as cancer aquarius some earth out here okay so yeah it looks like there's some divine intervention or like whatever's happening is unfolding with divine timing i'm feeling that strongly with that judgment energy and the wheel of fortune okay so there's changes you guys are slowly but surely moving forward yes there's some moments where you have anxieties but for the most part 
you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling excited about the direction you're going down and the things that you are accomplishing. And, you know, you're surrounding yourself with good energy, good people, friends, family, love. Like, it's just overall pretty good. There is something that you broke away from with the Hierophant in the reverse. So, like I said, it felt like some sort of break or a separation. For some, this was a relationship or a commitment. Or maybe you were dealing with a Taurus. But it's as if something you once broke away from is being revived or like you're returning or going back to something right judgment coming out and i feel as if if this is you you manifested this alchemist like you've been hoping praying asking for this moment to happen and look at this six of swords in the reverse and the prince of pentacles so i feel like this is slowly kind of looking backwards or going backwards or like returning to a place you've been before but it's slow. It's not like sudden and unexpected. It's like you've thought about this for quite some time. You've planned maybe for this. I don't know. We're going to clarify and get details as to like what's going on here. But again, like with the Alchemist, Six of Swords in the Universe and the Prince of Pentacles, even if this isn't like a past person or a past relationship or anything, like it's not like a reconciliation. For some it is. For some, this is some sort of dream that you've pushed to side or like it's something you haven't done in a while or like you're picking something back up you're giving something a second chance maybe the first go around you tried a business or you tried a project and it didn't work out in your favor and maybe you quit or you just took a break from it but it's like now you're picking something back up and you're feeling inspired again to give something a second shot a second try but you're coming in with like a solid plan hmm there's a few things i'm getting from this so I'm liking it so far. We're gonna start clarifying, get some details as to what's going on. Um, what should we look into first? The wheel. Let's look into the wheel. For Libra, Summer Nising Venus. For weekly read, please. Turn out the wheel of fortune. For Libra, Summer Nising Venus for this upcoming week. Tell me about the wheel. the wheel for um, Libra king of wands by the wheel for Libra someone has a Venus oh wow where did it go oh we have the six of wands Two of Swords in the reverse. So after a period of indecision, this could be tied into with that rabbit energy where you guys were feeling a little bit anxious about the future, the direction you're going down. And as you're feeling that, you're really needing to be mindful of like your thinking patterns and what's going on up here in your brain and your mind, right? Needing to calm the mind, spend some time in silence, right? So I feel as if there is some sort of decision had you a little bit anxious but then eventually you grounded yourself and you mustered up like the strength and the courage to make a decision you making this decision might be revolved around like your career or like some sort of endeavor some sort of passion that you have um you know if you were questioning am i on the right path am i doing the right thing maybe i'm not seeing the results yet you will let me tell you you will six of wands you guys will eventually get the recognition you deserve. All your hard work will pay off. There's lots of eyes on you. Or in the future, near future, you're going to be getting a lot more traction. Um, let's say that this is some sort of business or like you're getting more sales or more customers. Or like if this is something through social media, right? Through the public eye. I'm seeing that there's lots of attention here. Okay. And so with that being said, you guys are needing to be confident within yourselves. King of Wands. You need to stand strong believe in yourself because even though we have the six of wands and that's a good card and it talks about victory and public recognition there's lots of support around you but of course you know you're doing it right when you got a few haters <laughs> um so please don't let their energy affect you or anyone's opinions tear you down or hold you back or prevent you from being your authentic self or going after what it is that you want. There Again, there might be some moments where you get a little bit anxious or a little bit stressed out or a little bit overwhelmed. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, anyways, what did I say? Where did I look? Where was I? A little bit of anxiety, a little bit overwhelming, but as long as you can be confident within yourself and not allow external 
energies and influences to get the best of you, then you're good. And just you're- I'm feeling like this is moving at a steady pace. It's nice and steady. Okay, just quick look at the bottom of the deck. King of Cups in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, Seven of Wands. So there might also be like an emotional situation on the back burner. Like there might be some things that you are trying to heal and get over. You're, there's a little bit of defensiveness as you are moving in this new direction. There are some things coming up regarding like maybe your home life or your relationships. I'm getting more home energy or like family. Maybe there's some sort of drama or family or arguing, but that's just like a little side message. Anyways, um, three of cups for Libra, summarizing Venus for this week. <laughs> I forgot what I was like, wait, what is this reading? Um, three of cups for Libra, summarizing Venus for this upcoming week. Messages, tell me about the three of cups, please. So I feel like as you guys are starting to see results come to fruition, you're starting to see things take off the ground, there's lots of like celebratory energy, you know. Cheers, my dudes. Pour yourself a drink and celebrate your success and every little victory, doesn't matter how big, how small it is. Celebrate your achievements. Three of cups for Libra. Eee, page of wands, princess of wands, which is good news. Yeah, so you, you might be receiving some sort of good news or confirmation. All this anxiety that you felt is like all of a sudden you get like a green light. Like, hey, you are on the right path. Or like you get some sort of sign. Or you just have this sense of knowing that I am on the right path. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. You just feel really good. I'm liking it, okay? You got the job or like, I don't know. There's something to celebrate. Ace of Swords, you got clarity on something, or there's a there's a breakthrough. Oh, <laughs> and Six of Pentacles coming out, okay. So basically what I'm getting from this is what you put out is what you receive. You're eventually going to be receiving the fruits of your labor. I know right now, some of you are getting impatient, you don't want to wait, you just want instant results, but that's not part of the journey. You have to stop and smell the roses from time to time, okay? It's not a rush. I know that you're in a rush, but life is like, take your time, boo. Anyways. There is a breakthrough, major breakthrough, and it's so good, it's so exciting. Some of you could be receiving a message or communication, like something that confirms something for you. Okay, and so anyways, you're celebrating. Oh my god, the sun at the bottom, the sun, three pentacles in reverse, and justice in reverse. So after like a while of feeling like you were not getting the rewards you deserved and feeling just kind of discouraged, wondering am i doing the right thing questioning and doubting yourself you get this news you get this confirmation you get this feeling and it's just it's such a relief it's such a relief with the sun i'm loving it loving it some of you are again breakthrough or clarity or you like something regarding your mindset or you're starting to see things clearly um the mental fog is gone that anxiety you once were experiencing is gone you got clarity you cleared that out Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a look into the Hierophant in the reverse. <sighs> Maybe you just had to take a break from something and step back for a moment just to, like, gather yourself and gather your thoughts and calm the mind, right? Taking a little break. But we'll see. Hierophant in the reverse for Libra. Someone rising Venus for this week. Nine of cups in the reverse, so some sort of disappointment. Four of ones in the reverse. Nope, my deck's not upside down, just making sure. Hierophant in the reverse for Libra. We have the, oh, ten of cups right there. Okay. Bottom deck, three of pentacles in the reverse, five of swords, ten of pentacles. Okay, so this was in some sort of foundation, home life relationship where you've experienced some disappointments it was pretty heavy this was in some sort of partnership as well like i do feel like there was like at least one other person involved could be multiple people but this was within some sort of foundation that was built there was some sort of disappointment something didn't go as planned um there could have been some sort of drama or arguing three of pentacles in the reverse just like lack of seeing eye to eye or understanding one another now maybe that had to do with like mercury retrograde really messing up speech and communication there could have been a lot of like miscommunication just not understanding one another 
And so maybe there's just like, it was just too much. And so there needed to be like a break, separation. I feel like there could have been a bit of stubbornness or like someone maybe wasn't open to hearing the other person say what they needed to say. Or like, you know, there's, I'm just really getting miscommunication or like just some arguing, stupid drama. Anyways, this is within some sort of home life or family or relationship. Could even be like romantic, of course. But then higher affinity in the reverse. So this is clarifying like this break or separation. Like you just need time to cool off. And now it's like, okay, let's let's try and see if we can work this out. Let's see though. Um, judgment. Tell me about judgment for Libra, summarizing Venus. So there's like two different things going on in this read. Talking about like your career or some sort of project or business starting to take off after doubting, after questioning, and then there's also some sort of like thing regarding your emotions and your relationship and there could have been some sort of drama or fallout or you have to walk away temporarily and it's like trying to resolve some pettiness, I don't know, tell you judgment for Libra, summarizing Venus for this weekly reading. Two of Cups, so yeah, this was in a relationship. Three of Wands, judgment please. Eight of Wands, yeah, so there's movement. There's movement within this. So literally though, we go from the Three of Wands, slowly kind of tiptoeing, testing the water, come up with the plan, how do I approach, how do I make things better or apologize, or like that could either be you thinking that or someone thinking that towards you. But like, it looks like there's movement, there's action being taken, there's communication, quick back and forth messages or speaking to one another face to face. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers and Strength and the High Priest is clearing up any confusions or secrets or um, illusions or misconceptions. Needing to have patience though, patience with this conversation, okay? Both sides are needing to be open-minded and willing to hear each other out lovers so there's a decision over here could be regarding a soulmate connection or even karmic relationship um and queen of pentacles right so there is room for growth and expansion and learning anyways so i feel like it's just slowly kind of taking your time to reconnect and like okay let's have a conversation let's have a mature conversation to understand one another and then let's figure out how to move forward i don't feel like this was some sort of like deep ass betrayal and like he fucked me over and he cheated on me she cheated on me if that's your situation then this read is not for you really this is more like miscommunication arguing drama and then needing to take a break from one another whether this is in a relationship friendship family doesn't matter and then it's like okay after taking the time to cool off and calm down and get your thoughts in order and process what went down now it's time to like work it out or figure out what to do for moving forward, you know? <clears throat> you know? Okay. So, the alchemist... Oh, no. Let's look into... Yeah, I don't feel like I'm actually looking into the Six of Swords universe with the Prince of Pentacles. I feel like it's similar energy to this judgment. Right? Returning to the past or returning to an issue that wasn't resolved or something like that. Um, but coming through was like... A solid offer and meaning it right anyways let's look into the alchemist for Libra summarizing Venus kind of the alchemist for Libra summarizing Venus oh I actually know a Libra that might be going through this <laughs> um that's funny this came to me I was like wait I think I know one who is going through the situation right now. So shout out to her. Shout out the Alchemist for Libra, someone like Venus for this weekly her message, weekly read. Shout out the Alchemist for Libra. Someone nice and Venus. Nine of Swords. So yeah, there's a little bit of anxiety. It's a little bit of fear. It's like, but what if this is not gonna work out? Or like what if we just we work it out but then we fall back like you know, I feel like if there's a conversation that's happening here, needing to express your worries and concerns and just laying it all out on the table, because let's be real, people are not mind readers, right? So they can't read your mind if you have fears or concerns or there's still something weighing heavily on your mind. You can't just pretend it's okay and move on and bite your tongue. No, you're needing to express what you need to express and 
lay it all on the table, and communicate, right? Because communication is key. How about the alchemist for Libra? Summonizing Venus. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Turn the Alchemist. The Libra. Summonizing Venus. With a sweetly read. Eight of Swords, same energy. There's like these anxieties, these fears. We have Ace of Wands, Hangman in the reverse, and King of Cups. There's I'm getting two scenarios from this. This is either talking about this conversation. And needing to express your worries and concerns and things that are on your mind because they're not mind readers, right? But there is like some anxieties and fears about the future. And maybe there is a bit of impatience or or there's just like there's this need to communicate your needs and for the, whoever you're connecting with to communicate their needs so that you're able to come up with a plan. Because right now it's like the future's unknown or you're unsure of like what's around the corner, what's gonna happen. Um and so there's some time needed to go inward or do some reflection or looking at things from a different perspective because clearly right now you can't see shit. <laughs> you're weighing your head at rabbit energy that we we're talking about and you're needing to get into the present moment. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about a month from now, a year from now, or a year ago. You got to get into the now moment. What do you need now? This moment right here, right now determines your future. Um, another thing I'm getting back to what I was also saying about your manifestations or whatever it is that you're trying to get off the ground. You're worried, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? I'm not seeing the results come to fruition. Like, what's going on here? I'm kind of having doubts and fears. Same energy from this that I was feeling with the rabbit and the spider. Literally the exact same energy. You feel me? Um, and so... If you're feeling that way, whenever you come across this read, if you're feeling that, you're needing to get centered in your emotions, trust your intuition will guide you, express how you're feeling to yourself and be honest with yourself on if there's any things that you're needing to release or communicate or express. There is also the need to look at things differently. Some of you are needing to go inward. Some of you have been avoiding taking the time to do a little bit of introspection and reflection but have trust because there's lots of new energy coming your way ace of wands trust the timing it's not gonna happen overnight it's just surrender because i feel like this is out of your control the timing is completely out of your control it doesn't matter what you do things are gonna happen when it's meant to happen <laughs> okay um and there is a bit of that impatience i was feeling from this seven of pentacles in the reverse all right and then again, if you're dealing with a relationship, you need to express your concerns. Both sides you need to just lay it out on the table, listen to one another, have compassion and understanding. Um, if you're wanting to make this work, if you're wanting to... Whatever, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Anyways, so yeah, two different scenarios in this read. Could be both, could be one of them. Um, let's get some Takashi messages. For Libra, summarizing Venus. I need to cast you messages for Libra regarding this weekly read. We actually just had a card fall. Where did they go? There it is. Oh, two cards. We have integrity and choice. Let's get one more for Libra. Thank you. Consideration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so integrity. It's time to define your truth and work with sincerity and honor. Allow the unity of body, mind, and spirit to guide you in the feeling of wholeness. You need not compromise your beliefs nor thrust them upon others, but retain a balance within you. Love who you are and be proud of you. Choice. Stop making decisions from a fear-based childhood no-choice belief. Childhood realities have taught you a great deal, but it's time to let them go and be an empowered adult. It's time to take charge of your life and make purposeful choices. Now as an adult, you never ever have no choice. Be prepared to look at all options, right? That's hangman energy. There are often more choices than you think, right? But you might just not be seeing it right now because you're way in your head, 
right? Take that blindfold off, get into the present moment. Consideration, pay attention, let nothing move past you without your examination. Be reflective, do not make any hasty decisions, right? And Choice was saying that. Um, many special moments are unfolding for your attention. If you carefully look at what's brought you to this now moment, you will see how much of yourself deserves your loving consideration. Okay, Libra. So that is what I got for you guys for this weekly read. If you got something for this read or you found this insightful, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you guys are interested, you can go follow me over on my Instagram. And with that being said, we'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.